Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest Dell Vostro 3520. Now, there is a Dell Inspiron 3520, there is a Dell Latitude 3520, and there is a Dell Vostro 3520. So, if you are planning to buy this particular laptop, or you have already purchased this laptop and you want to upgrade, you want to put different things, maybe RAM, SSD, hard drive, or replace the battery, then this video is for you. So, let's get started. So this model is the business class series of uh, Dell 3000 series and uh, the main differentiative factor between the Inspiron and Vostro is the Ethernet port that uh, they give in the Vostro series which is not there in the Inspiron series. So we will show you the entire uh, internals and the externals of this laptop so that you can have an informed decision before you buy this. This model comes in different variants. It comes uh, with Core i3 uh, 12 generation, Core i5 12 generation as well as Core i7 12 generation. So it is up to you which one you want to buy. The price range is somewhere around 35,000 rupees to up to 60,000 rupees here in India. These models do not come with any kind of graphic card. They come with 8 or 16 GB variants, 512 GB or 1 terabyte SSD variants. They come with Windows 11 Home only and with MS Office li legal license for lifetime. So let me now show you the exterior of this particular laptop and what all ports this particular laptop has. Now, as you see this particular laptop, you will find there's absolutely no difference whatsoever in the resemblance between the Inspiron series and the Ostro series. On the top, although there is a textured finish, it is not having a matte finish, it has got a textured finish and the Dell logo is over here. Very nice looking design. So the base again uh, is having the same textured finish continued all through. It's got this small perforated area for the heat to get dissipated and the rudders are placed over here, differential in the size. The speakers are again bottom fairing speakers, left and right speakers. We'll dig deep into the base, the interiors of this particular laptop, so how we can upgrade uh, in the later part of this video. Again, on the interior also, the same textured finish has been continued. It is not having the matte finish, which is there in the Inspiron. This is the textured finish that is there on the inside. The touchpad uh, is having a pure matte. It does not uh, have the same texture as the inner touchpad area. You have the Core i5 logo over here. The heat vents are over here. So again, uh, the same uh, design element. There's no difference in the design of the 3000 series whatsoever. So on the left side, uh, you have the DC jack. You have the DC uh, charging indicator, HDMI 1.4. You have two USB 3.2 uh, connectors over here. That's a very good thing to have. And on the right, you have a SDMMC card reader, you have another USB 3.0, you have an Ethernet port, but you don't have a C-type port over here. And you have a headphone mic combi, 3.5 mm jack and a Kensington lock. So, should have had a C-type on this particular thing, that is something that uh, people who are buying this will miss out on. Now, let me show you the top flex on this particular laptop. Top flex is uh, there, but it's minimal, it's not like... It's pretty tight. So being a plastic body, it is purely polycarbonate uh, in design, but this, the sturdiness is there on this particular model. Now let me show you the keyboard flex. There is a good amount of keyboard flex over here uh, that we can see. Now the most important part, uh, the hinges stability test. Let us see if it opens with one hand operation. It does not open. So you need to do the hinges calibration for this particular model, otherwise which the same hinges issue will come up. I have a detailed video if you want to avoid this particular error to calibrate any of these Dell Vostro 3000 or Inspiron 3000 series, it is there in my bio. You can have a look at that particular video. Please calibrate this uh, uh, laptop before you start to use it. It has to open with one hand. All right. Once you open the laptop, uh, you are uh, seeing a three-sided nano bezel. There is no privacy shutter on the web camera. The screen is very good. It has got a full HD IPS uh, screen, 45% NTSC and uh, good color uh, on this particular uh, screen. The keyboard again uh, is the standard 3000 series Dell keyboard that they have given. It does not have backlit in the Core i3, Core i5 or Core i7 variant. No backlit whatsoever. Let's see the keyboard quality, the, the feel that we have on the keyboard. So I can see the keyboard quality is good. 
better than the Inspiron uh, variant actually. The button, the power button is again uh, in the keyboard itself. So let me show you the audio quality of the speakers that the Dell Vosto 3520 has. Fantastic, fantastic. The speakers are loud, they are having a good amount of bass, they are not tinny. A uh, good amount of bass I could uh, feel over here. It's a very good speaker on the Dell Vostro 3520. Now, let me show you the camera quality of this particular model. So, it can record up to 30 FPS on 720p and uh, let me show you the video quality. So, this is the video shot from the Dell Vostro 3520 series of laptops. The audio quality is uh, very good. Uh, the video quality is good it could have been better if they would have put a full hd camera but a good uh, you know camera on the dell as always uh, dell has continued with good cameras on their laptops so a thumbs up on the cameras part so let's now uh, dig deep into this particular laptop see what all uh, ram ssd hard drive battery uh, does it have and uh, how can we upgrade it first thing first we need to flip the laptop and uh, you'll see all these screws over here just need to remove all these screws so remember this uh, hinges screw over here, one and uh, the second screw, they will not come out. Don't try to remove them. They are just there to protrude the base from the rear. This one screw will come out and all the other screws will come out. Now take a triangular prior like this. And uh, this part which has already come out because the screw did not come out, just put it here and start protruding from all the sides. Very gently, don't put a lot of force or pressure, it will come out. Just need to unscrew a little bit more and it will come out. And uh, you can see the, this is the inners of the Dell. Vostro 3520 series of laptops. So we'll start with the battery first. We'll remove the battery connector over here. It's very important if you want to just replace the battery. Just open the base. Just come up to this point in the video. Just remove these three screws. And uh, the battery will be out. So the battery is uh, type G91Z0. This is the battery that you need to purchase if you want to replace, it's a 41 watt hour battery. Just take a similar battery and just put it back, put the screws and put the insertion and you're good to go. So coming to the part where the RAM is, uh, so it has got two RAM slots, uh, DDR4 only. So if you want to replace uh, the RAM, uh, you just need to remove this particular RAM like this and uh, it comes out. It's got 8 GB natively, this particular model, most of the models are with 8 GB only. DDR4, 3200 megahertz is the max, max that it will support. Just take a similar uh, 16 GB plus 16 GB, 32 GB it does support. 8 GB plus 8 GB up to 16 GB, absolutely no problem. Just take a similar RAM DIMM like this, uh, Sodium uh, 8 GB DDR4 or 16 GB DDR4, 3200 megahertz and just uh, insert into this particular slot like this and press it on the top and you are good to go. So this is the RAM part. It's a good thing that they've got two RAM slots. Now coming to the part where the SSD is, just need to remove this one screw over here. This is the plate uh, which is carrying the heat sink and this is the SSD over here. So it's got a Gen 4 uh, NVMe SSD. It's, it's a very good thing. The brand is Solodium. It's clearly mentioned Gen 4 over here. This is a 2230 form factor. Uh, you can also take a 2280 form factor SSD over here. So this is the long format uh, Gen 4 NVMe. This is the 2280 form factor. So you can take a similar uh, NVMe SSD also and you can just insert it like this and uh, you can as well. You just need to flatten these first thing first if you have to put a long format and then just need to put the screws on and you can put a 2280 form factor. So the upgrade capacity of this particular laptop is up to 2 terabyte SSD. So you can take a 2 terabyte M.2 NVMe Gen 4 2280 or 2230 form factor SSD 
and you can upgrade this particular laptop. As of now, we'll again put back the SSD that it came along with. A very good design by Dell, if you ask me. So coming to the part where the hard drive is, uh, you can actually put a 2.5 inch uh, SATA SSD or uh, you can put a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or a 2.5 inches uh, SSD. The upgrade capacity is up to 2 terabyte. So I'll just show you how to put a hard drive in this thing. Just need to remove uh, the existing connector that they have given. Just need to remove this part over here and even this part. So this is the part where the hard drive connects to the connector over here. But before that, we need to have uh, the hard drive fitted. So there are these screws on the rear, which you will see which are again uh, concealed by this particular stickering. Just need to remove those screws. All right, just need to remove the four screws. And uh, you just need to ensure that it's aligned like this and start putting the screws over here. Now you need to put this particular connector into the slot like this, just press it and uh, you can put the hard drive screws back like this. Okay, The hard drive is connected. So up to 2TB, 2.5 SAT SSD or SDD is suitable for this particular laptop. Now coming to the part of the speaker is again a standard speaker with all the 3000 series and it connects over here. This is the speaker connector. Just need to remove this connector and the speaker will just come out like this. It, it is not held by any screw whatsoever. Just need to gently remove it. This entire uh, uh, this wiring over here is up to the left and right speakers connectivity. Just need to remove even this part. Very comfortably it comes out and just replace with another speaker. Come to the part where the processor fan is. Just need to remove this one screw over here. Another screw over here and the fan will come out. The fan power connector has to be removed. It comes out very comfortably. This is the fan that you have to replace. In a scenario, your fan stops functioning. A few years from now, just take a similar fan like this and uh, you're good to go for another uh, few years. Just put it back. You can also actually clean the fan uh, once in a while. It's a very good practice to have. Just need to put the connector back. All right. And then uh, put the screws back. And you're good to go. So Wi-Fi chip is over here. Uh, just need to remove this one screw over here. The Wi-Fi chip comes out. There are these two antennas. This is the VGA cable, which is connected to the screen. In a scenario, it is there's some display issue. Just try removing and again refitting. This might help. This is the DC jack. In a scenario, the DC jack is not working. So let's start uh, fitting it back. Let's put the battery back. First, the battery connector over here. Just need to put it like this. And uh, now we can put the base cover back. Just press all sides. And you are good to go with this. So this, my friends, was a video showing you the Dell goes through 3520. It was requested by many users uh, on my community that please review this particular model because there's a lot of difference, a lot of uh, similarity and differences there in this particular model. So hope uh, all the people who would want to see this particular model are clear with their uh, doubts and confusions. In this video, we have shown you how to basically uh, upgrade the RAM, SSD, hard drive. The best part is you can put a hard drive onto this model up to 2 terabyte. You can upgrade the SSD up to 2 terabyte. You can upgrade the RAM up to 32 GB, DDR4 although. Uh, the next variants uh, will surely be coming with DDR5, but as of now, this one has got DDR4, 3200 megahertz max. The uh, camera quality is very good. Uh, the mic on the camera is also very good. The screen quality is uh, very good. 215 nits brightness, full HD IPS panel. The only hindsight is the hinges calibration that you have to do. 
without which please don't use it and the best part is it's got an ethernet port onto it uh, the part that we uh, expected that dell will incorporate is a c type port which is not there in this particular model but that's okay so all in all it's a good package uh, core i5 is priced at around 45 to 50000 rupees here in india depending on where you are buying or what configuration you are buying the battery backup also is fantastic up to 5 to 6 hours comfortably you are getting a battery backup on this particular laptop the key travel also is uh, pretty neat the entire build is polycarbonate it uh, seems a little you know not on the premium side uh, maybe if you are having a budget then you can go in with the 5000 series of uh, dell ghost or inspiron which are having a metallic body Thank you so much for watching this video guys, uh, do let us know your suggestions and uh, do not forget to subscribe to us and share this particular video. Thank you so much.